Hey guys, it's Melissa. Happy Monday. It is certainly feeling like a Monday, I have to say. Uh, first of all, Facebook will not allow me to, to flip my camera so that things are not looking backwards like my sign uh, without turning the entire screen green. So that's cool. Um, secondly, um, why it's just, it, it, like, it's not even nine o'clock here yet. And it's definitely feeling like a Monday. Anyway, uh, why I am here is to tell you that over the weekend, um, they made a massive change. Um, I say massive because it is very rare for a silhouette to pull back a current version of the software. However, um, there have been a lot of complaints about V4.4. Um, and when I say a lot of complaints, things that are like, usually I'm just like, oh, that's a bug. Like, it, you know, if you can work around it, fine. But there were a lot of things like you couldn't put in your, um, if you had a 16 digit code in order to upgrade your software, you weren't able to put it in. So I actually suggested that they just pull that whole version back and you know, put some, take, take V4.4, um, whatever that specific version was, I think it was 090, take it away and make a more stable version, the current version, um, because the up, the option otherwise was, oh, just to tell people to upgrade to beta, which, you know, a lot of us know is a little scary for people. So over the weekend, they actually took down V4.4. It is no longer the current version. In fact, V4.4 totally is not on this on the silhouette software site at all other than in beta so they have basically reverted back and are now um the current version is listed as 4.3370 which um has become a very well relatively stable version has fewer bugs than others um those of us myself there's a bunch of people um in the beta group that use the software all the time help troubleshoot a ton of people um and that's the one that we've kind of like eh, okay this is probably the best option so that is now the current version so i am going to recommend to you that if you have 4.4.090 and you are getting those odd pop-ups that say you know you have something um in the that's not allowing you to cut or it's telling you that like you have to that weird pop-up that you had to click yes to or um if you have stuff off the cutting mat in the virtual you know in the software and it wouldn't allow you to cut until you deleted that like just all these weirdo things um so you can revert back now you're going to ask me how do i revert back i've already knew you were going to ask me that so i put a link up top or to the side, wherever, to tell you exactly how you can revert your software to um, a prior version. So if you have a Mac, you are actually able to keep multiple versions of Silhouette Studio on your computer. You just need to rename them in applications. If you have Windows and you are going up to a higher version, you can you know up, um, install a higher version. However, you can install a lower version without first deleting uninstalling, removing, bye-bye, um, the lower, the version that you have and then going back. Okay. So the link that I sent you, uh, that I, uh, linked to up top will tell you how to go back to an older version, where to even find them. Okay. So if you're brave and you want the 4.4 that's currently in beta, you can do that. Uh, but if you're not so brave or you're a little hesitant or you want one that's been um, more, you know, tested more and used more, uh, 370, 43370 is what you're going to want. Um, now, this is super unfortunate because V4.4 was not just um, a software version that came out with bug fixes. It actually had quite a few new features in there, including the auto trace for PNGs and um, there was a couple of other things as well. So it's unfortunate. I'm sure it will be back and hopefully it won't take too long, although probably longer than normal just due to the uh, pandemic and everybody working from home. Um, but that is my recommendation to you. All right. Now I saw a couple of questions just scrolling through. What is going on with the Cameo Pro? That's the largest 20 inch um, machine that was supposed to be released in May or June. It's going to be delayed. Um, I can link to that as well. I did a post on the blog about the delay of the Cameo Pro, the delay of a couple of those pretty uh, heat presses, which is what I'm calling. There, there's a teal one, coral, pink, and white heat presses, 199 presses, and then Sawgrass 
um, SG500 and SG1000s, all of those delayed right now due to uh, the pandemic and just disruptions to manufacturing, production, and travel. Um, so I have updates on when the heat presses should be available, when Sawgrass, um, they should start shipping from retailers later this month. Um, and then the Pro, despite how many times I literally begged for a, an official statement from Silhouette, they would not give me um, anything official to say. So what I can tell you is that right now, Silhouette Summit is usually in May. It's actually was supposed to be the uh, this ne next week, not this, not this week, but next week. Um, and that has obviously been, um, postponed. It's postponed till September. So that gives us, um, the best, you know, guesstimate about when we will see the pro. Okay. It will likely be then. And that is as of now, unfortunately, depending on how long this goes on, how long it takes for production manufacturing worldwide to get back going, um, that will affect all of that, okay? Um, so I know a couple of you, I, there's been a ton of questions on this post and I can't even keep up with while I'm trying to put a thought together. But um, if you're asking about, um, yes, the Cameo, the Cameo 4 Plus, which is the 15 inch machine, where's my, mine's in my other office. Um, those are available. Um, if you want a rotary blade with that to cut fabric um, and along with like felt and tissue paper and a bunch of other, um, hard to cut materials, you can get, the Swing has bundles, Cameo um, Plus and 12 inch Cameo 4 bundles with the rotary blade. I don't believe that they are available by themselves because the production of the um, rotary blades has also been very, very um, low. So kind of had to pick and choose what they were doing with that. Sawgrass people, somebody is asking me about Sawgrass. That is the sublimation printer. I have the SG400, which is the, um, is now the older model. They updated their models from, so from SG400 and SG800, the 400s, the eight and a half by, um, 11 inch. The, uh, SG800 is the, it's a wider format to so print 11 inches by, I think, 17. And then you have the bypass. Um, those models were now discontinued, and they are doing the SG500 and 1000. Same thing with the sizes, uh, but now they are wireless. You can print wirelessly through um, Bluetooth, it's, you know, on your network, um, Wi-Fi, I guess it is. And then there's a couple of other quick updates with the processor and different things like that. But, you know, it's, it's um, basically those are the same, okay? Um, okay, those of you who are asking, I haven't been able to upgrade, it says it's corrupt. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. If you are, if you bought an upgrade, um, the 16 digit upgrade to go from basic to designer or business or whatever, any of those 16 digit codes to upgrade your software and you are using V4.4.090 and it's giving you, you know, telling you it's not working, that is a major bug and the one that, um, you know, prompted all of this to have that version removed and put 370 back up. Okay. So if you are having a trouble putting in your code, my suggestion is to remove that version of the software and either be brave and go to beta. But at this point, I honestly, you know, would recommend that you downgrade and go to, um, 370, which has been, you know, used a lot more, um, than any of the V4 Point four softwares and 370 can run the Cameo 4. So just, I mean, the Cameo um, Plus. Okay. So, you know, if you are worried about that, that version will still run the Plus. Okay. All right. Um, yes, it will see. It will also, it should fix the, that um, nagging problem of telling you that you have items outside of the work area that you can't cut. You know, if you have stuff, um, I don't know if you can see my computer here, but if you had stuff outside your work area, um, it would give you an error. Just so you know, I have an alert that says Cinco de Mayo, de Mayo is tomorrow. Like, okay, thank you. Um, if you had, if you had items outside your work area, it was giving you an error. Um, so that this will fix that. Someone's asking how to check which version when you're in Silhouette Studio, if you go up to the, um, Silhouette Studio menu that's at the top and click about Silhouette Studio, um, the, this will pop up, okay? And like you can see here, mine says, Silhouette Studio Business Edition Release 
43.370 SSBE. SSBE means business edition, okay? So you'd have designer edition on there um, if you had designer edition and, and so on, all right? So um, that is that. Hopefully you guys, um, that will solve some of these problems. There's been a wide number of um, troubleshooting issues, like to the point that like it's very difficult for those of us who do help troubleshoot and you know um, use the software a lot and then get in the groups and help. It's been very difficult and challenging to keep up with all this stuff. So I do hope that this um, eliminates a bulk of um, you know some some of those kind of issues that just by removing that software version itself. Okay. All right. So if you have, um, I'll go through or Ashley will go through the rest of these comments and add um, links or info to help you troubleshoot whatever it is um, or answer any other additional questions. As I said, the link to how to downgrade um, is listed above. Also, if you do not want to run, so <clears throat> this is very important. There's certain versions of the software that will only run the newer machines. For example, if you have V4, uh, V3.8 for, or, you know, whatever reason you like that version, that version is not going to run the Cameo 4 because the Cameo 4 was not around when that version of the software was out. However, the newest versions of the software always run the every machine. So it's not like, oh, V4.4 only runs the Cameo 4. No, if you have V4.4, it will run your portrait, it will run your Cameo 1, 2, 3, Curio, all of them, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you are looking for an older version even than what is um, currently on the website as um, current, there's another section called legacy. And if you click on legacy, those are other adopt options. Now just keep in mind, it will depend on a couple of things. A, like I just said, the ver the machine that you have. A Cameo 4 can't run on some of these older versions. A Cameo Plus can't run on some of these older versions. If you have um, a Mac, um, op um, Catalina, you have to have a 64-bit version of the software. So there are, are you know, parameters that you're going to have to stay within, but the options that I'm giving you, the one that I'm telling you, the current version 3.7.0 can run all of the machines, can run on Catalina, can run on Windows 10, can, you know, all of, the, all of those things. Okay. All right, you guys, um, tons of information. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm just hoping to get, you know, word out. So if you, um, you know, feel free to share this so that we can try to get people to know that they need to you know, revert the software if they're having an issue, all right? And of course, I will keep you updated on everything. I know lots and lots of questions about the pro and what else is going on, uh, but all I can tell you right now is it's going to be delayed, and my best guess is probably late summer, just given, um, you know, what I know as far as, like, when um, Silhouette Summit has been rescheduled and everything like that. The other things, the heat press and the sawgrass printers you were asking about, those are all coming and uh, should be starting to ship in May. All right. All right, you guys have a great one. I'll see you soon.